Hello everyone and welcome back to a new lesson of our tutorial series where we're making something nice. So if you can't recall, I have this project from Arch Daily from Franz Sylvester Architectos. I love these guys and I wanted to make this in Android Engine because I want to see this in VR. This is the first time I'm telling you I want to see this in VR, but ultimately yes. Now to continue, we said in the last lesson we want to create the closets and the doors. So why don't we do that? But before we do that, look at this the little nice mistake here. So we can move these on the Z axis. All right. Now I will make a new layer. OK, without any objects selected. So just make that layer, right click, rename, call it doors for now. Well, it is doors. And let's just make some doors. So I'm going from this midpoint to this and here. So that's a blocked object here. We can set the thickness of this to something like five. Okay. And I think in the references, everything is perfectly aligned. So we need to move this here. Should be fine for now. Maybe we can do there will be small, uh, very small gaps, but we will do that at the very end. I treat these gaps between objects as little details. And we can do that in next. Well, once we get to it. So I make a copy of this door, move it here. And this door here, we set it to 80. It's a little smaller than 80, but I'm going to keep it at 80 because I want to unify the scale of my doors so I don't have so many meshes. And I will make another duplicate of that door, rotate it 90 degrees, go to the top view, and let's set it in the middle point here. And let's make another copy. Also set it in the middle point here. We will look at the reference pictures later, but these two doors, like there is some gaps and they rotate from here. But for now, this is okay. I make another copy. Put that here. There we go. And I think we need also to move these a little bit so they all align. And the same for this guy. Here is this. No, this is not a 92. This should also be 80. So that's a bathroom here. And that's a bathroom here. So let's take this one and rotate it. Put it here. Looking good. Let's make another copy. This one is 90. So let's set this to 90 and let's set it for now here as well and looking good. So these are the small gaps and details I was talking about that we would do at the very end of a project. And these are the two doors that would rotate here. So nailing all of these details will be up to you if you are following along. If you are not following along or doing your own house or you want to be able to follow along, I'm going to make the model of this house available for everyone. Now, let's take a look at the reference again. Take a look at the windows. So here we look, it looks like we have some sort of gap in the ceiling. Of course, there is some sort of gap, but the window here goes like perfectly aligned with the objects we have. And the gap here is because of the curtain. So we can take care of that once we get to the ceiling part. So keeping things simple, I'm going to create a box or the frames of the windows. And I'm going to select this vertex to this vertex, move it all the way to here. And I'm going to set the width to something like five. And I will select or convert this to edit poly. Do this and let's click on inset and I'm going to insert like three units or three centimeters should be fine. And I can simply bridge in between. So we have this frame. OK, and I will move this to a new layer and we're going to call this layer windows. So I will select this frame again and I will select these objects here. Isolate my selection. Select the frame alone again and press shift, make a duplicate of that frame. It looks like I'm talking faster than 3ds Max at this point, I don't know why. I will move this here to this point and I will select the vertices on the floor, move them on the Z axis to this point, select these, move them on the Y axis, 
there you go looking good not so good and now it's good press e to rotate but notice the rotation center is slightly off so i press my favorite shortcut to set the pivot to the center of my object which is this one and to set that shortcut all you need to do center pivot of course there are other ways where i want maybe the pivot here that will be done with a plugin but for now we are fine so rotate this 90 degrees move this here select one assign the frames i like to isolate my objects because it's easier to work on objects that are isolated compared when you have the full project visible in front of you again if we take a look at the windows they are slightly they go outside a little there is some sort of profile going on that does not matter for me now i just want the frames but again i always love nailing all the details as much as possible when i look at image i know later and i'm going to do this and i'm going to have some sort i don't know if you can see it because of the compression settings but there is this is made of four pieces maybe you can see it here and ultimately this but we do it vase by vase, step by step. The first thing is a block out. Don't worry about the details, but try to get them as close as possible, of course. Know your reference. And it's okay to make mistakes, just in case I make any. So here, this window is almost perfectly the same as that. So what I can do, I know that the dimension of this is 130. So I will count on this as the new, like, original window, let's say 130. But see, we have, like, very small difference, 0.754. So we could do that later, fix that little uh, difference. Now let's move this here as a copy or an instance. It's completely up to you. Sorry about the noise. People are going crazy downstairs. So here I made multiple copies of that window and I'm moving it to its right location and I don't want these small changes so I would adjust the walls for this if this was of course a client's project we should get it perfectly as it is you should not do that but because of this is a tutorial we're gonna keep things simple I am doing that so here I would suggest making this like 130 put it somewhere here actually just make it exactly the same width make it copy and move it here select this piece select these vertices put them there and extrude all the way there we go all right now we need to do the closets so let's do that i will go and block these out as well quick block out well before i do that actually i need to make a new layer so let's make a new layer and Make sure you don't have any objects selected when you make a new layer or it will move it to that new layer. So click here, right click, close it. And do you know what closets are made of? Boxes, my friend. With boxes, you can make so many things. Let's just fix this little gap and let's make another box. And why not more? We have also some boxes here so we have like one two three it goes all the way here here we have some sort of sliding door that goes within this part and here as well all right so select from this part to this part move it all the way up convert it to edit poly shift s to add swift loops we need a couple and we need this vertex or these edges here then these edges here and the same for this part now we can select this part here delete it select this bridge bridge and we can take a look at our reference to make sure like where is the height of this because we all know if you look here this it's like barely touching this point slightly below it for the window so it's perfect i think as it is here and as for the dimensions 
let's see if our picture from updub would help us so enable this and let's select these and maybe press alt x on this mesh so it's transparent okay and we can put this here and we can delete this press 2 to close these gaps alt x again nice here we have the kitchen let's just make another layer without any layer selected object i mean i put it as a placeholder just a box for now and here you maybe you are able to see the lines in between so one two three four five six seven eight nine so if we select our mesh here let's make another box that goes all the way from this point to this point and let's add some segments that's why it's easier and later we can detach the meshes so we want eight one two three four five six seven eight ha we want eight not nine unless i'm mistaken yeah we wanted nine barely there this is good but i like eight more because like it was perfectly here it's nice so let's see if we have any info yeah i'm gonna keep it at eight but let's see what are the dimensions from this to this 75 i think it's good and we want to do the same on these here so we want the same uh, closet doors and to do that look here as well so we have one here one here and they go all the way we don't have pictures of that side except for this and this one with the tv but you get the idea so to do that let's get back are we in closets yes we are but this one is in kitchen this one is in closets that's my mistake so click and move this here there we go and make this our active layer so what i want to do is to select four okay select these faces and push them inside two centimeters and i press ctrl and shift and make copy okay and this exterior shell i'm gonna give it a modifier you guessed it it's shell and that modifier got an amount of two centimeters and i can move this here all right now i can go back to edit poly if i want press 2 to add edge or to be at the edge mode and we want one edge here so we can do a connect and we want a couple here we want to keep the size relatively the same so let's add seven here six let's see yeah seven is okay or six yeah let's keep it at six and let's add three here or two one is enough and we should do the same here and in a way on the other uh, closets let's do this closet so i'm going to box and i will click on this to this part there we go it looks like i snapped to the wrong uh, mesh that's okay i can do that again so click on box press from this point to this point there you go and we can delete this so with this one we have three if you want to take a look so one two three here we also have a closet here we have some sort of fake closet or something and also we do have one here so i'm going to move this here and i'm going to collapse this press 4 select these delete them select this cap or border and cap it move it here there you go it's getting cozy guys we're filling the house with closets and let's do this part i like it yes me likey and one from here press s to here and i can add a modifier i think we added segments on our uh, closets here by mistake that we don't want so we can simply press x which is my shortcut to remove loops okay if you don't have that shortcut you can double click and press ctrl backspace double click ctrl backspace if you do just backspace 
it's not good because you have these floating vertices. So control backspace, very important, okay? You press one, we don't see these vertices here again. So here we have, we have a bed. Let's just let me turn off the floor so we can see a little bit better. And it looks like I have this floor with the walls so we can move it to its own layer and call it floors or floor. We can hide it and bring this. And instead of having like the name plane 2D or plane 001, let's just call it 2D plan. There we go. Let's bring a box and create one, a port. Let's select our layer because this one is hidden. So click on box, move from here to here and press S to snap to the top view. Remove this. And this part here is this one. Here we have some emptiness. We have a nice light and we have the same here. So let's do that. I will uh, select the floor, isolate my selection, go to the top view, press Alt X, and I will add an edit poly modifier. But before you do that, let's just make these numbers rounded a little bit. So 350 and 50. And let's add an edit poly modifier and then shift S to swift loop. So here we have one and it looks like here we have one. It's not so clear in the 2D plans. There we go, actually. Oh, wait. And instead of doing this, let's just select this on the side and do a connect and let's add multiple segments. There we go, five segments. I will add swift loop here and based on our reference image, let's go. Let's assume this is at height of 90. So I'm going to do this and I will remove or move this up to 90. So one, two, three, we don't have. We can select and delete. And one, two, as far as I can see, we also don't have these parts. So press two and then do my thing with the bridge. And press three, we have a border. If you do a rapid Q cap, it will close this for you. So, or in order to add things in the next lesson that are not boxes, let's finalize this room. So I will add this to a new layer just for now, because all of this bed and its closets are the same part, basically or the same uh, mesh. So 280, just rounding these numbers, put that here and let's do a box 65 and 250 or something and let's give it thickness of five for now. When you give any object like thickness of five, it's always easy to change it later. And let's raise this to 80 and let's create a box for the bed so this is the room we're talking about. This is the bed, this is the walls behind it, and that's the TV table, uh, sorry, the computer table. So this goes all the way, it seems, from here to here. And we can add all the details we saw earlier afterwards. So we can simply now make a copy, take this vertex, press S, and move it to this edge, then take this table, from this corner to this corner and the same here. Let's close these as well, looking good. So this will be like bedroom, the secondary bedrooms, the kids' bedrooms, and this is like the master bedroom. There are little details hidden there, things that will be done here and there. I wanna see in the next lesson if we're gonna make it a time lapse of modeling everything or we will leave commentary like this let me know in the comments if you want to see time lapse or detailed step-by-step -step modeling process of what we see here soon we're gonna have this in unreal engine and there is a process like uh, normally i would prepare this in a way and send it to unreal engine just to take a look at everything and how it looks so if not next lesson, the one after it, we're gonna see this in Android Engine. I hope you found this one useful. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. This was your boy Yahya from VR Division, and I will see you.